appetizers, that is, would hire Levi Johnson, yes, that Levi Johnson, to be their product's new poster boy. Check out the Hardball Sideshow tonight, and we'll show you the ad. I can't believe it, actually. Let's start with Afghanistan and the president's meeting with members of Congress today. Democratic Congressman Ike Skelton, Missouri, was one of those in attendance at the White House. He's the chairman of the Armed Services Committee. And Republican Congressman Duncan Hunter of California is a member of the Armed Services Committee as well. He served two tours in Iraq and one in Afghanistan. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. And thank you, Mr. Hunter, for your service, sir. Thank you. I always do that because we ought to all do that all the time. Mr. Skelton, old pal, this is the question for you. Why are we in Afghanistan and when can we leave? Well, we went into Afghanistan, as you know, as a, re as a result of the 9-11 attacks. And actually, that was the fifth attack uh, on Americans uh, in 9-11. Uh, they started in 1993. We went in there and we dismantled uh, the Taliban government that uh, supported the al-Qaeda terrorists. And uh, however, we didn't destroy them as we had hoped to. And through the years, you will note that we were diverted into Iraq. Uh, which took our eye off the ball. Uh, if we had put all of our resources into Afghanistan and, and done our very best against al-Qaeda and against the Taliban government, which we did topple, we'd be a far better off today. Now, you'll recall that the president gave an excellent speech in March outlining the strategy uh, that we should have in Afghanistan. So for all intents and purposes, uh, we didn't have a real strategy until then, and when he gave that speech, in my opinion, the real war started. He appointed General McChrystal, who has a strong background of uh, special forces, special operations, and he asked him to give an assessment in the next 60 days, which he did. And that assessment, of course, is one that's dire and, uh, uh, frankly, uh, very troublesome. And the president's now faced with a situation where I'm sure that General McChrystal will make, if he hasn't already made, recommendations for increased resources to fulfill the mission uh, that should have been uh, finished back in uh, 2002. Okay. Congressman Hunter, we had a moral reason. I think most people would agree to go into Afghanistan in 01. We had been attacked heavily. The bad guys were there. The ones who organized the attacks cost us the lives of 3,000 innocent people. We went in there to get the people who did it, who organized it, and to punish those, let's be honest about it, who let them do it. What's our moral reason? Give me a moral reason for why we're thinking of sending already 21,000 more troops over there and the, and the uh, gentleman Crystal, the field commander, is asking for another 40,000, we're told in the latest report. What's our moral reason for doubling down now in Afghanistan? I don't think it's a, a, a moral reason. What I think we have to do is win. And if General McChrystal... Now what is the moral is, reason, is the, though? You have to answer the question, sir. What is our moral case for our right to be in that country killing people we don't like, killing people who are trying to knock down their own government? What's our moral case now for okay, being Okay, Chris, there? so you're asking, you're asking me about, about the uh, morality of, of warfare. I would no, say the, uh, uh, now. the moral case is this, that we have Islamo-fascists who want to kill Americans. They based out of Afghanistan. They attack us on 9-11 and prior to, as Chairman Skelton said, we went in there, took them out. We have to win this now. The moral obligation is we went in there, we started fighting, we, we uh, dismantled al-Qaeda al there and, and Taliban, and if, if the uh, uh, president's general is asking for more troops, we ought to listen to him. We don't make strategy here. We just help the troops win, and, uh, and that's what we need to do. Yeah. Well, let me ask you about the moral question, Mr. Skelton. The question is, and you're chairman of the committee, and you do make strategy because we have a co equal branch that you represent. The question is, we had a moral case to go in and punish the people who attacked us and to knock them out of power. But today, are we fighting the people that attacked us on 9-11? Are the Taliban forces attacking us now, the people who attacked us on 9-11? What will happen if the Taliban regains hold in either part or all of Afghanistan, just bet your bottom dollar, as sure as God made little green apples, the al-Qaeda terrorists will go back in there and have a safe haven from which to plan, plot, and attack America and American uh, interests wherever they may be. And consequently, we have to finish the job. The job should have been finished back in 2002 and put the resources there uh, that were put into Iraq. And sadly, they were not. And now the war really begins as a result of President 
uh, Obama giving a strategy speech, and okay. hopefully he will listen to the recommendations of his his uh, commanders. I think, uh, gentlemen, I mean, let me ask you, uh, Congressman, uh, I want to ask you, uh, Congressman Duncan, that same question, because finish is a good word. I think most Americans uh, believe that if we can get a job done over there that will make us more secure, we should do it and come home. But the idea of finishing the job in Afghanistan sounds almost contradictory to history. Other countries that have gone in there have had a hard time changing Afghanistan. Can we change the country so Taliban won't take over? Can we do Chris, that and finish the job? Yeah, that's the exact same thing people said about Iraq and what's happening now there. We're going to come home victoriously, men and women, job well well done, thanks for your service. Iraq is done, we've won over there. The, the exact same thing can happen to Afghanistan, and, and, and I'll tell you, Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan, the exact same ones that we fought in 2001, 2002, they're is, Islamo-fascist, they want to destroy America. Yes, those are the same people that are over there now. Those are the same America-hating people who will blow us up for any reason whatsoever. Those are the exact same ones that we're fighting over there. That's why we have to win, and that's why we ought to follow General McChrystal's uh, 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 counterinsurgency plan for Afghanistan. He's a guy. He knows how to win. Let's give him the resources to do it. Let's leave Afghanistan victoriously. Uh, I think that's the right thing to do. How many uh, people in the Islamic world do you think are like that? Of the billion people in the Islamic world, what, 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 where are these uh, Islamofascists that are rooting against us? What percentage do you think are out there that we would have to take on at some point? If they're out there. What don't know what uh, uh, percentage there are, well, but about 95% of, of them are in Pakistan and Afghanistan. So that's where, where we're focusing at. They're not in. They're not being supported by the people in uh, Saudi Arabia. They're not being supported by the Emirates. They're not getting their money from all over the Arab world. I thought oh, they were. I thought that's who was are. arming no, no. the Taliban. No, Wahhabism is part of this. Wahhabism is part of this. I, Iran is part of this. This is is uh, is general hatred for the uh, uh, West and a, a a throwback to 15th century uh, is Islamic fundamentalism. And that that's what this has all been about since September 11th. 2001. Nothing's changed, Chris. There, okay, there's bottom line, uh, you gentlemen. Know, still some ang angry folks out there that have camels and and will throw stones at us. Okay, let me ask you this. You first, Congressman Campbell. Will we succeed in Afghanistan and be able to come home at some point? I think so. I certainly think so. And I think uh, with a good strategy, with a good follow through, with our allies, the, the NATO allies that are there. As a matter of fact, I just left a meeting with our British uh, counterpart from Parliament. And they, uh, m the large majority of them expressed strong support for what we're going to do. Okay. Do you have the same confidence, uh, Congressman uh, Campbell, that we can, I mean, Congressman Duncan Hunter, that we can come home after doing the job in Afghanistan? A that can be absolutely. done. Absolutely. And, and, uh, okay. and Ike Skelton's a great leader for, for, uh, for Congress with his help. The uh, president's leadership on this, we can get Afghanistan done. Okay, thank you very much, Congressman Ike Skelton, and thank you, Congressman Duncan Hunter. Coming up, what's missing from the Obama presidency right now? Is he beginning to lose touch with the country? Has he lost touch with the people right now? We're going to break down that with uh, that question.